What is up guys, this is Felix and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pretty cool transition. So let's take a look at it. It's gonna be a bit laggy here, but I think you'll understand. So we got the line here, swiping through, and then the actual transition. Like so. Okay, so let's jump into After Effects here. Okay, so let's start by selecting the top layer here and press effect and go down to transition and choose CC Jaws. So this is the basic transition here, like so. But we are going to modify this a bit. So we are going to change the shape to Robo Jaw. So we get this kind of shape here. Let's put this to about 10%. And uh, let's adjust the height to about 6% and the width to about, let's see, 15.5. Um, and let's change this to 0.5, 0 0.5 there, and we get this line. Okay, so let's create a solid. You can choose any color you want here, but I'm going to choose like a like a bluish kind of color, like so. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to uncheck this little eye button. Um, and you don't need to panic. The uh, layer is still here. We just can't see it because we uncheck this button. Yeah. So let's zoom in here a bit. Press H for the hand tool. Let's adjust our view. Zoom in some more. And press G for the pen tool and let's start making a mask okay so then H for the hand tool and G for the pen tool okay so I'm just gonna fast forward this for you be right back Okay, so something like this. Um, yeah, and now we can turn this back on, and we have this this line here. Yeah, um, we are going to add a glow to this to make it a bit more spicier, and put the threshold to somewhere around thirty, maybe twenty. Let's say twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five is all right put the intensity up to about 10 and there we go looking pretty good now we can go back to the jaws and uh, set this to zero we got this line already okay so um, let's choose effect now transition and let's see here linear wipe yeah that's it this effect or this transition uh, is gonna do this can you see it? yeah it's gonna wipe it you didn't you didn't see that coming huh? Uh, yeah but that is what that effect is going to do but we want it to, um, to like evolve from this side from the left side to the right and right now it's from the right side to the left but we can easily change this by pressing here and setting this to minus 90 instead of plus 90. Okay, so let's set this to 100%, like so, uh, and press this button to make a keyframe. Then press U to show all keyframes. Uh, so let's set this to 0, and that automatically creates a keyframe. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, but there's one thing that is not quite right with this transition, and that is this part here. That is looking really harsh. Uh, it's not looking too smooth, but we can easily change that by adding a feather. So let's feather this out a bit. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Let's set this to about 30. Yeah, you can play with that. 
Um, so that's that's about right. Looks a lot smoother. Um, yeah, we are done with that. So now we're going to take this jaws. Okay, here we go. And now we are going to set the this. I can't pronounce this. This is impossible to pronounce. Completion. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Anyways, press this button to make a keyframe again. And press U, if you remember. That brings up all the keyframes. And bring this, well, something here, yeah. Okay. Um, and then set this to a hundred percent. So we got that transition. Hang on, it's loading. Yeah, so we got this transition. Um, just one problem, this should not be visible when the transition starts. So it should be visible. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Hey, let's set this to set this to like a, a quarter. So the the uh, rendering here won't take us long. Okay, so this line should be visible here, but not here. So we can easily change this by adding a opacity keyframe. So select this layer, press T, and you'll get the opacity. So push this keyframe and push page down to get to the next frame. Okay, and then set this to zero. So here the opacity switch is set to 100 and here is 0 so it disappears. Um, that is basically it for this tutorial. <laughs> I hope you learned something and if you did please press the little like button below. I really appreciate that and uh, other than that have a good day.